Hello. How's everyone doing out there? I'm Snake Man. Welcome to the Dream Harrier stream. Uh, I've been gone a week. I was at Disney. Went to all the parks. Doing well. That's great to see. Bergy. I'm a... Yeah, I have a couple of art projects I want to do, including um, there might be a new Bergy in the future. That might be a follow. A follower uh, emote, maybe. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, uh, last week we looked at some Disney games to get me kind of ready. Uh, we also had one last uh, look at the Namco Museums. We did volume four and five. Those are the last two volumes that got a US release. I don't know if Encore got a European release. I should probably have... Oh, sorry, I'm bumping everything. Probably have this controller already in my hand, but I didn't. Yes, so we've been looking slowly. We've been looking at all the Namco museums, which have offered kind of a interactive... Not maybe not interactive, but kind of a 3D space you get to walk around in and meet all your favorite Namco characters, like Mappy. Uh, we've looked at Volume 1, Volume 2, the Japanese Volume 2 that swapped out Super Pac-Man for... Was it was it Bomber B? GB? One of those early Namco breakout type games. Uh, volume 3, and then last week Volume 4, or two weeks ago Volume 4 and 5. And now we're back. We've got three more games to look at in this Namco Museum tour. Uh, Encore, which is the last proper Namco Museum on the PS1. And Anthologies 1 and 2, which are a little different. But first, let's look at Encore. As, as you know, all the volumes pre previous to this used every letter in the Namco logo. Uh, so Encore uses the registered trademark. They like doing this. I think uh, Katamari Damashi, the letters of Namco, are your saves. And the, the registered trademark is like start a new game without saving or something. At least in We Love Katamari. And those actually count towards your collection. So you actually have to select each menu item in that game <laughs> to count those as collected. Because they're the only parts. Of, it's, it's the only time in the game that you can collect those. Oh, there's a bag here. So, so far, one of my favorite things about these museums have been the little intros where they combine all the, the things you've seen. Look, there's Mappy himself. And uh, Gil from Draga. And uh, Genji. That's not his name, but I'm going to call it. And the Valkyrie. And a bunch of other characters, like uh, Albatross from Rolling Thunder, and um, the, that king, and that guy, and a dragon, and a spaceship, and uh, Sky Kid, one of Namco's lesser. Oh, hey, Wonder Momo. I didn't know Wonder Momo was on this. Well, guys, you're getting your Wonder Momo time. You get to meet Wonder Momo. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I haven't seen her since uh, the Shifty Look. <laughs> you want to see a Mappy Space Battle? They should have put Mappy in space. There's a there's a pack there's a Namco museum on the Wii that I do plan to show off in the future that has like a Galaga game, but it's Pac-Man. Why would you put Pac-Man in Galaga? Also, uh you fight a uh, Gal Galaga or Galaxian in um Pac-Man World 1. It should be Mappy. 
Ah, we're in Japan land. Circle. Oh, she talks in this one. Yeah, yeah. Save my name. So I have no idea what to expect. Uh, this is the first time I've ever looked at this one. I have a few of the other Namco museums, and I've looked at all of them in the past. Oh, okay. I was trying to hit back to like, I thought it was like a 3D space. Oh, So there's no museum to explore in this. Which, you know, I guess to be expected. We have King of Balloon, Motos, Sky Kid, Rolling Thunder, Wonder Momo, Rompers. Oh, that's what the kid's from. He's from Rompers. Dragon Saber, which is the sequel to Dragon Spirit. Uh, and we can look at their memory card, I guess. Let's see. I want to know if it saves. I feel like they should have let you look at like all your saves throughout all the museums. Oh my god. That's that's the that's what makes up a Pac-Man. What am I looking at? Oh, there it goes. I have no saves. Pac-Man is sad. I don't know what I'm looking at. I guess it's the stuff we saw last time. You don't want to know what the innards of a Pac-Man look like? Too bad. It's like when they asked the the dev team of Fall Guys what the inside of the guys look like. What what they look like in the suit. And now now you can't now you can't unlearn it. Well, let's get started with uh, probably the oldest game in this collection, King and Balloon. I like the loading screen. That's pretty neat. So this is, I think it's the same vintage as Galaxian. Oh wow, this is quiet. Maybe a little older than Galaxian. Oh no. Ah! Yeah, digitized speech. And like, old Space Invader clone. Damn. So I don't think you have lives? Oh god. But, basically if your king gets taken, then that's it. That's the game. So I can die as many times as I want to. But it makes it harder to save the king if I'm out of commission. God, these things move so weird. You know? Uh oh. Uh oh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, yeah, so that was a life. We, we lost a king. Thank you. Oh my god, they all came. I'm ready. I'm ready. Get your ass back up here. And then you do it again. He saw the like candy? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, pac <-Man. laughs> I thought we were talking about our boy, the king, over here. He reminds me a lot of, uh... You know how Barman games would have evil Barman and there'd always be, like, a fat one? He reminds me of that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um... God, what's that game called? I don't even remember. Rogue Legacy, right? Thank you. Why do all these balloons want to kill my king? What, what did the king do to them? 
Have you guys ever read that Jinji Ito uh, comic about the balloons that look like you? And like coerce you to come outside and then they hang you? <laughs> I don't know why I'm bringing it up right now. What I'm saying is Namco should have updated this game with uh, a Jujito license. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> Help -poo. Yeah, the balloons that look like you and want to hang you. Why are you acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? Doesn't everyone know? They should have animated that when they did the uh, the Adult Swim Jujito collection, whatever. Maybe it wasn't Adult Swim that did that. Adult Swim's getting uh, Uzumaki. Which is probably my favorite story. Uh, I really like the back half of it when it just goes nuts. And kind of less of the the horror of the uh, horror monster of the week kind of anthology stuff. I guess it's not anthology, but you know what I'm saying. Each chapter would be its own kind of self-contained uh, spiral. And then the back half of the manga is just this long kind of storyline after the town's all messed up. I like that part. And of course the, the little bonus chap mangas that are not about Ozumaki, like the, the hole that's made for me. I'm weird though, I like Yo. <laughs> uh, Kyo's stupid. I love it. I love the absurdity of Jinji Ito. Like the, the balloons that look like you and want to hang you. He could. He, he's a king. He can't do anything for himself. Yeah, Gyo is the one with the robots. I haven't read the cat one. I've seen panels of it, and it's kind of funny. So, Jinji Ito wrote kind of like a about himself moving in with uh, someone who has a cat, and like he doesn't understand cats, and he's scared of them. And so, like the cats are drawn like in your typical like Jinji Ito wicked style, like <laughs> but all they're doing is just like regular cat stuff. But he interprets it as like horror. I'm, I'm, I haven't read it, but I'm told it's pretty good. How do I get out of here? <laughs> get me out of here. Uzumaki is really good. You should maybe read it before the show happens. What is Long Dreams? I'm so bad at remembering the names of them. I only remember, like, things that happen. <laughs> like, the, the one where the... What is it? The guy... I like Tomi. I know that one. Um, but then there's the one where, like, the, the everyone turns into ice cream? Hellstar Remina. Hmm, I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, what? Could I? Could I have done that with King of Balloon? Oh my god. <laughs> is that is that real? I like the one where people turn into ice cream, and uh, the one where there's like a guy who like guzzles oil and is like pours seep oil, and he tries to force feed the girl his like face oil. <laughs> That's weird. Thank you. 
No, I already looked at that. Oh wait, when I go back, did the ghosts turn into... Yeah, they do turn into, uh, like, when you have the power pellet. That's pretty funny. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't, like, for some reason, I didn't watch a lot of Freakazoid. Oh, I guess I could zoom in on that. We'll zoom in on the next one. How do I get out of here? Motos! I don't know if it's just the time it came on, or... Oh, this, this got a lot better. This, uh... Looking at things. Flip mysterious space bees with motos. <laughs> That's a... that's a way you could describe Motos, I guess. This, uh, this stream has become a Juji Ito chat. We're now talking about everyone... like, what do you guys like about Juji Ito? <laughs> I am looking forward to Uzumaki anime. There's a live-action Uzumaki that I watched a long time ago, and it's... It's like... It only covers the, the first half, it doesn't go into the, the back half, which is the part I like about Uzumaki. Um, but it's alright. It's like surprisingly okay for live-action interpretation of horror manga. And then the Gyo movie is just completely bonkers. <laughs> like, it's, it's kind of bad. But maybe that's because Gyo is bad? I'm not sure. I like Gyo. I have a soft spot for it. I do like that the Gyo movie like flips the the protagonist with um, the girlfriend character, so that she's the protagonist. Let's play Modos. I haven't played Modos in a long time. It's on. Um, I think it's on the Switch. Namco Museum. Not the Switch. Um, the Wii Namco Museum. I think it's the last time I've seen Modos. Alright, we bonk things. Yeah, this is kind of an odd one. Uh-oh. Uh it's that game of Mario Party that no one likes. <laughs> I want to pee. I, 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 I died. I died for my pee. Power. Who said you can make an air ball? Oh. I got this. I don't need a pee. This magnet bug. Oh, oh. He's got jukes. I want to play sumo games. Chubo played some really good uh, sumo games. There's some really funny arcade ones and uh, 
Famicom ones. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Let's use our P. We'll get it back. Oh. That's all there was. Oh, no. They're fast. I thought I could go get that P. Oh, they're only fast because they had their friend. Now their friend's dead. Triple bug. Oh my god. Oh, because they're all magnetized to each other. So they're like slingshotting off of them. Okay, you should probably use... I don't... I don't get this one. I'm not very good at this one. <laughs> I do like a name entry that lets me go up and down. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well. <laughs> that's Modos. Oh. We have different uh we have different sizing options. Scaling, if you will. Whoa. What did I just do? Hold on. What button do I press? Don't mind me, I'm just curious what the current resolution is. Uh, it's not telling me. Weird. Okay, th <laughs> there's a Tate mode. Lots of options in this one. Even dip switches. So that's Modos. Um, there is an updated version of that on the Namco Museum on... on the Wii called Pac Modos, which just replaces the ship with Pac-Man. And it's 3D, I think? It might use motion control? I don't remember. Well, we need to show that version of the game off at some point. Sky Kid! I used to like the Famicom version of Sky Kid. It was on my multi-cart. But yeah, you're a bird in a biplane. And at the start of every level, you pick up a bomb. Or I guess not at the start, it, it... Sometimes it's midway through. And you hit the button, you drop the bomb on the battleship. If you don't have a bomb, you can also do a loop-de-loop -loop or something. I don't know, some plain person's gonna yell at me about... That's not a loop-de-loop. And yeah, if you are get if you get hit, you you're sent to a nosedive, but you can actually like wiggle out of it. I've never played a two player. I wonder I wonder what it's trying to tell me about two player mode. I wonder if it has friendly fire. That'd be pretty messed up. But yeah, it's a bunch of, uh, birds. Flying planes. The Red Baron, the Blue Max, the Black Hawk, and the Green Crows. Screenplay by Hito Compiler. This is when they started adding a lot of character and fun to arcade games. <laughs> I don't know how well this game did, um... It shows up in collections from time to time. I think it also has a... Does it have an Arcade Archives release? 
I don't remember. Oh, we can look at our nice feathered friends. Speaking of arcade archives, uh, Liquid Kids just came out while I was on vacation. Or, Liquid Kids came out last, like, a week, a couple weeks ago, and I bought it to play on the vacation on my Switch. And then, uh, Dragon Buster also recently came out. And I do play in the, to get Dragon Buster. Uh, because birds can't drop bombs, only planes can. It'd be very difficult for them to pick up a large bomb. Also, they don't have, I, I guess they could fly with guns in their feathers? I don't know. Look, they're war birds, see? Look at this guy. This guy has a Mauser? That's not Mauser, sorry. What is that? War is heck. Who are these characters? Oh, I think the, the girl is probably the can-can dancers at the end. Who's this guy? Who's this little Oni, a little, um... God, I can't think of the name for the Thunder God. Eugen? I'm bad, I'm sorry. Everyone cancel me. <laughs> they had fun with these designs. <laughs> Who's this bird? I didn't realize the Sky Kid universe was so deep. Any big Sky Kid fans out there? It's like, I can't believe they, he doesn't know who this character is. My favorite Sky Kid character. That's how they have the buttons set up. So yeah, you got tanks on the ground you can take out, or trucks and tanks. And when you get the bomb, you basically can't do loop-de-loop -loop anymore because it will drop the bomb. Wow. I didn't think it would shoot that quickly. Again, used to the Famicom version, a little easier. Also, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> uh, this song was in the Taiko no Tatsujin on PS2 that I had. I got very addicted to it. I didn't mean to be. I should get a little higher. There we go. I want to wake up the dead. Good, but you can't rest. The battle is to continue. Fight on. Oh god. I got shot off really quick. supposed to do that. We're having dog fights. Uh. I wonder if it's the shot button or the the loop the loop button that you're supposed to mash. For some reason, I thought the tree was, uh... That was not an object.
Ops. Let's play that one again. I forget if this got a US release in any way. Probably the arcade board did, but not the NES version. You can shoot the bomb. I don't recommend it. But you could. No. <laughs> I was trying to get the last... It's okay, the game calls that a success. You don't have to land the plane. I think it still takes a life, but it makes you go to the next stage. I wish I had my arcade stick for this, because uh, mashing out of the nosedive seems really hard on a PlayStation controller. Especially because I don't know what button I need to hit. Oh, you just hit the loop-the-loop the -loop button. Every time I say loop-the-loop, -loop, I, I expect it to come out like, um... a robot text-to-speech. Like Macaw. Loop-the-loop. I don't want to lose my bomb. That's probably... Okay, that's good. Oh god, I got confused. <laughs> I was following the arrow. I, I, I don't know. I thought I had to land in front of the girls. <laughs> Falcon salute. Loop the loop. AA guns are pretty scary. <laughs> what kind of war is this where we have biplanes but also like AA guns? I guess it's a bird war. It's hard to place. I I thought I was mashing. I thought I did it. I also got an extra life at some point. I got an extra life when I completed the last stage, but that put me at three, so... I must have got an extra life between then. So I think this is one of those games where you can stack... What the heck? Could not mash out of that. I gotta love some of these Japanese arcade games that let you put, like, a whole name in here. No timer, though, so... You have no idea how long you have. You made it. What a great fighter. Hmm, I wonder what that uh, option does. Round, walk, or skip. There is a second version of Sky Kid as well. I don't know what's different with it. It could only be the Famicom version that has two versions. There's like Sky Kid and Sky Kid Deluxe, and I don't know what the Deluxe one is. If any arcade experts out there can tell me. Sky Kid Lore Masters. I'm gonna have some water. I missed the museum. I guess I shouldn't have expected this one to have a museum. Rolling Thunder. I really like Rolling Thunder too. I got a stand up candy cab. I guess it's not quite a candy cab. I don't know what this cab is. This is the kind of cab you'd see outside of like. 
grocery stores in Japan that have the big buttons, like for kids. Check my coin box. There's where the board is. Hello, board. So in Rolling Thunder 2, you get to be uh, both Albatross and Layla. But in this one, you gotta rescue her. There's no two player. It's the first one. Super new picture story. Secret agent of WCPO. Rolling Thunder 2 also got a really good um, Genesis port. Rolling Thunder had a Tengen released Nintendo port in the States. But if you have a Famicom, you should get the, the Japanese version because it actually has a unique sound chip. It's not like an amazing sound chip. It's not like gimmick or uh, <laughs> Castlevania 3 or anything, but it's something. Nineteen eighty-six. You can almost think of this as one of the first running guns. I mean, you had stuff like um, I'm like trying to think. Am I gonna call Sansan the running gun? I don't know. I wonder what the like the lineage of uh. the run and gun is, but Rolling Thunder definitely has a big hand in it. Uh, one of my favorite games is the original Shinobi, which is basically a um, Rolling Thunder-like. Only you can, you can shoot while you jump in that one. Hmm, I'm getting a little bit of a overscan. Ooh, these are noises. So you have a life meter, but uh, taking a shot, like a bullet, uh, pr pretty much drain your entire life meter. That was me getting punched. I'm trying to find jump. You can also run out of bullets, and while it doesn't stop you from shooting, every bullet that you shoot when you don't have bullets is like super slow and you can only have one on screen. So try not to. And some doors have special things in them. Oh god, I got drained. In uh, Rolling Thunder 2, contact damage doesn't exist, but in this game it does, and it always gets me. Audio on this one's a little weird. Seems really quiet, also. I guess I had to put contact damage because there's a lot less dudes that, uh, shoot you. Give me a machine gun. I guess there aren't secret doors in this one. Two would have, like, you could extend your life. And there probably is, but man, going, going through every door is so tedious. <laughs> that one had grenades. No, turn around. Oh, it's like, you kind of get stuck. Oh yeah, if you're crouching, you can't turn around until you stand back up. Oh, I... It wouldn't let me, uh... It wouldn't let me change thing. I was trying to do that. At least in Rolling Thunder 2, when you, when you transition, you have some iframes. Doesn't seem like you have that. 
game's a lot more finicky. Yeah, I have played this, but I've never gotten very far yeah. compared to Rolling Thunder 2, which I would like to learn how to 1cc at some point. I first gotta beat the Genesis version. That's just something I just have to, to do on stream. Grind it out, you know? At some point they add uh, stairs that you, know, you have to contend with. But yeah, games like this, um, Shinobi, E-SWAT, jeez, I feel like I barely touched that guy. I didn't get out of every one. <laughs> That's a big bad. Let's give it another go. Oh god, I was looking at chat. The guy just came out of a door. Yeah, the contact damage in this game is pretty rough. That's the thing I like about Shinobi as well. Shinobi doesn't have contact damage. You just bounce on things. Uh, except for... There's one enemy that you can't touch at all. I think it's a little... Well, the bird... I can't remember if you can touch the birds. I haven't touched the ninja bird in Shinobi in a long time. That's me thinking I could come out and shoot the guy, because... Coming out of a door in Rolling Thunder 2, you have some grace period to hit the... You know, that's... that's, that's uh, we're, uh... we're done with Rolling Thunder 1. <laughs> it's a good game, I'm just bad at it. It makes me just want to play Rolling Thunder 2. Any Rolling Thunder fans in the chat? There is a third Rolling Thunder. It's console only, and I don't... I played it once, and I'm like, oh, this isn't Rolling Thunder. <laughs> That's me. I'm just gatekeeping. I just could never get, get into it. Anyway, here's Wonder Momo. So Wonder Momo is kind of like a tokusatsu stage show. As a video game. So your regular Momo, uh, she could just kick. But if you can touch a tornado, she transforms into Wonder Momo. And gives her this like hula hoop weapon that bounces back at you. Look at this guy. He's got a little... Snipper hands. I love him. His ant head. What? <laughs> this poor guy. Oh, he reminds me of a Gundam. Uh, uh, not not a Gundam himself, but an enemy. Oh my god, what is it? Not a ball guy. Um, the, the punchy one. I don't know. Who's this lady? I will admit, I have not played enough Wonder Momo. Amazona. Is she like Wonder Momo's rival? Every good magical girl needs a rival, right? So last time we saw Wonder Momo was like, there's like a phone game that's based on the, the shifty look era, where Shifty Look was this, like, cross-media website, um, that was, like, it was, it was Namco and the Homestuck people, and they made a dating sim, and then there was, like, a, a Wonder Momo comic or manga that came out of that, and, um, a, a Mappy comic or Mappy cartoon shorts. I don't... It was weird. It was a weird 
thing. <laughs> it must sound like I'm like insane. This is a real thing that happened. There was like a dating sim where you were like a uh, cousin to the Prince of All Cosmos and you went to a new school and you could just date Namco characters. And each one had their own like art style. 1987. I don't know, I'm insane. Uh, anyway, there is a Phone Wonder Momo side-scroller game that I kind of want to find and try out. I might do it when I do, um... I have that Valkyrie phone game I was able to track down. Let's look at the guts. I guess you could call this a candy cab. I mean, I guess that's the definition of the candy cow, is to be outside with the candy machines. A <laughs> Wonder Momo fan? That's cool. Can you 1cc it? No, Because <laughs> uh, I played the, the PC Engine version of this, and uh, I could get nowhere. Uh, this and Bravo Man, I'm no good at. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just, I'm just curious. I want to, I want to meet someone that can, and then I want them to tell me all the secrets. Does she, does she gal like in the the PC Engine version? Oh, her art's kind of weird in this one. I guess she has an Ultraman laser. I, d I never put that together. Oh, she will. She'll, she did it. She gowed. <laughs> you can do live calls for the songs. That's great. Well, I'm already doing a great job. It's it's a lot more stiff than I expect. So yeah, you gotta fill up your wonder meter. Oh, so you gotta watch out for people trying to take pictures of your panties? I like the music when you are transformed. Oh no, my hula hoop. That's a pretty funny story. <laughs> God, you suck when you're not Wonder Momo, though. <laughs> this kick is the worst. I want to be Wonder. Oops. Can I have that back? Do the split kick. Make all the fans happy. They, they came for a show. So is there like an album with like vocal themes or something? Cause uh, I have no idea. All these ninjas. These ninjas are the worst. It's tornado time.
Oh god, breakdance man. Give you the Ultraman beam. Music was arranged, I think, for a couple of Tekken Tetsujin games. That makes sense. Tekken Tetsujin always has a, a game category, and they like to use Namco songs a lot. The Ridge Racer song in Tekken Tetsujin is great. Let me get more pills. I feel like the secret is like jump kicking. Maybe not. This seemed to. It's just you're so un not mobile. Just kicking on the ground. <laughs> well, when you jump kick in the air. Oh god! <laughs> he keeps putting these crystals in the air. Is this good? No. Get away from me! I don't get even get that. You can spin yourself, I think. And then that would use your meter prematurely, if I think. Oh god, I was gonna spin, but... I need my hula hoop. Could use a pill, also. Oh no, Wonder Mom was dead. Momoi. I'm not familiar with them. Yeah, this is a one life game. And no continues. I wanted to get out of volume one. The dinosaur gatekeep me though. Right, okay, yeah. If you look at the audience, you can spin. And you can prematurely become Wonder Momo. But it's it's not really a great idea, unless the stage is giving you a lot of trouble. It's usually the boss that you want to be Wonder Mama for. But I think if you spin while you're already Wonder Mama, you can do the, the attack where she shoots beams from both sides. Also, you can do split kicks. It's kind of what she became famous for, I guess. Like, I in Namco X Capcom, she does that. She's teamed up with Bravo Man. I just guess they're, they're both 87. Yeah, so if you get a pill when you're not Wonder Momo... You get life. Yeah, so... Oh, that photographer got a shot. Yatta! And I, I don't know if, like, Wonder Momo had... Oh my god, <laughs> straight up a crystal in my face. Um, like, uh, I'm about to say is uh, Athena. She had, like, an idol attached to her who, who sang songs and would be in the pictures for the cabinet. I don't think Wonder Momo had, like, an idol attached to her. Jesus. 
Get my ass kicked by little ninjas. <laughs> okay, hitbox. I just wanted to shoot my Ultraman laser. <laughs> I was getting pinballed around. This game's hard. This game's so hard. No, I won't. no, I can't get it anymore. I was stun locked. Okay, we should probably transform into Wonder Momo when I get a chance. The problem is, yeah, this dinosaur is going to show back up. I don't have my hula hoop. Show's over. Everyone go home. Continue is on. Maybe you can only continue after you get, like, to volume two. Walk, skip. Does that mean I can skip rounds? Because some Namco games have a dip switch that give you a round select. Oh, well, that's Wonder Momo. Everyone loves her. She might not be as beloved as the Valkyrie. Or Pac-Man. I, I don't know who this Pac-Man guy is. Uh, but I think Wonder Momo... I bet there are lots of people that have a nice spot in their heart for Wonder Momo. Like, they grew up with the arcade game, and they grabbed the PC Engine port. Um, they grabbed the manga. If there was a single, I get, I, probably that. And Rompers is a game that I know the title of, I've never played Rompers. <laughs> so, from my gather, you c you're this little kid, and you're pushing a wall on some enemies. This one's smoking. Maybe that one also, I don't know. Last year's mystery tournament, Rompers. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, looks like we got P1 and P2 Romper. Romper boy and Romper girl. Kill enemy. The door appears and go through door, probably. Don't get killed by enemy. Can't push walls that are blocked on the other side. There's eggs. Some power-ups. I always have to open the coin drawer. I refuse to <laughs> not do it. 
Single board, single but double sided. Um, maybe that's a dollar board back there on the back side. Looks like a one button game. Zoom. So how'd you do in this game, uh, Muware? Or were you lucky enough to dodge it? I imagine getting an arcade game would be pretty rough. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'll get my coin back. I've never checked it after I've played the machine. Let's just slam a bunch of credits in. Oh, does this have a port? I feel like I've seen a port of this game. I feel like I know this song. Hey. So it's a little bit of a maze action game. Gotta collect all the keys. Maybe I saw BBH play this. The song is surprisingly familiar. I wonder if there's a remix of this on Technic Beat. Got a little bit of a pengo. Not really, I guess. You're not pushing anything. <laughs> You're pushing walls. Whoa, watch out. The clapping girl at the end of every level is upsetting me for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's the eyes. Yeah. It's like, they're gonna try to get me. But now if I get them first... This game seems nice. Oh, we got some scrolling stages now. Oh, and some chain reactions. And a new song. And an extra man. Okay, those guys can't push walls. So. The Triceratops can shoot fire, though. The, the girl, the clapping is going, definitely going in the thumbnail. This is bad. Uh. uh don't mind me, I'm gonna go this way. Let me say Rally Ho. I heard Naruho though. That doesn't make any sense in this context. Ah! Oh, sh... I've been crushed by an armadillo. This is a... This is a tricky, tricky stage. They are cute. But they're also dangerous. Just like real life armadillos, that's not true. Armadillos are not dangerous. 
Ooh, a spider. Oh, they split. Oh, okay. Okay, I can't push that wall. Uh. Oh, they make webs as well. Uh, shoot. This is, this is bad. <laughs> the situation here. <laughs> Everything about this is bad. Okay, you just... Oh, okay. That spider was polite and waited for me. <laughs> I thought I was dead. The Romper Show! I thought it was a, a wall I couldn't push, though, like one of these walls. Uh, oops. I let my guard down. Okay, once they're free, let's see if we can bait them in here. But we still need to come through here. That's gonna free him. Okay, who are these guys? Ah. Fine, I don't want that key anyway. That's bad! Romper. <laughs> Mr. Romper, please. It's interesting it didn't kill me, it just uh, incapacitated me. Uh. Damn it. It's trying to sneak past. They're, they're a lot faster than you think they are. That game seems fun. I play that. Please help me. No. Oh, it's even got continues. <laughs> you put 10 credits in the machine. I didn't even think about it. It's... Hello, Lumia. How are you? I'm so desensitized to nightmare arcade music. I blame Mr. Do. Damn it. I should be able to get my coins back. Alright, Dragon Saber is the sequel to Dragon Spirit. It's very much the same game. And just like Dragon Spirit, I'm no good at it. After Story of Dragon Spirit. Uh, I think this is the one I own on PC Engine. Oddly enough, I don't own Dragon Spirit, I own Dragon Saber. <laughs> So I did get a home port, on, at least on there. Like a lot of Namco arcade machines of this era. Powerful. Combination. Heartful. Namco. Two button. You got bomb, you got shoot. Some new power-ups, uh... But yeah, basically same game. Dragon Xevious. Oh, we got concept art this time. Look at this guy, hold on. Oh, this guy's cool. Oh, 
There's like a weird griffin monster. A mutated griffin. Because they have griffins. Or what's the thing that's not a griffin that has a lion head? God, I'm so bad at remembering things, like basic mythology. Shows up in the Metroidvanias a few times. Worm. Yeah, Manticore. There you go. Every good, every good fantasy needs a worm. I like this worm. Big ol' spider. I guess the people are elf people in this one. Or maybe dragon people? Oh, maybe they're like your children? From the first game? Because I think you're a dragon person. But the lady you rescue isn't, so maybe these are like... Dra half dragon people. Pac-Man was confused about um, <laughs> what he was seeing. Let's look at this board! Without being able to zoom in, the, I don't know why I look at these. I want to see chip numbers, damn it. Alright, let's go get our ass kicked, because these games are hard. Oh, Lumia, you missed Wonder Momo. I don't know if you're a big Wonder Momo fan. You know, how, how come... is it? There's no Wonder Momo outfit in Idol Master games, right? Why is that? Someone should fix that. <laughs> I I am back. I came back from Disney. Become Dragon. Looks like this one added a uh, two-player simultaneous. Yeah, Wonder Momo's hard. <laughs> I was getting my ass kicked. Just like this game is gonna kick my ass, cause man, these dragon shooter games are really hard. <laughs> you are a big chunky hitbox. And shit flies at you really fast in them. At least the first game. I don't know if this game's easier than the first game. Oh, it looks like you get a charge shot if you don't shoot for a while. Jesus. Uh, I'm not good at vertical shmups. I want to get good at them. I have a whole bunch of them I want to learn. Um, I have like a few on Steam, like Crimson Clover. And my friend wants me to play Toho's, of course, because, you know. Oh! I thought that was a power-up. It came out of an enemy I shot. Oh, so like, Alamaster 1 and 2 had, like, uh, crossovers? Like, can I get a Wonder Momo costume in one of those? Wow. Jeez. I did worse in this game than I did in, uh, the first game, actually. <laughs> Oh, really? That's cool. 360 version of 2. Yeah, I know the Tales of games get a lot of representation in other Namco games, as well as uh, they themselves have a lot of costumes nowadays you can buy, because Namco's all about that <laughs> buying a million costumes. What I'm saying is, let me buy Wonder Momo costumes for uh, the new game. Also, let me buy the new game. On Steam. That'd be nice. You know, I realize this game might be harder is, uh, you die in one hit. In the other game, you die 
if you don't have any firepower left, then you lose firepower when you get hit. But this should just straight up die, it seems. <laughs> I missed the, the egg. I was reading about Pac-Man hands. Oh. Yeah, you just die. Oh, this the game has rapid fire. But you do have a charge shot, so you gotta keep that in mind. But yeah, built-in rapid fire. Also, the scrolling locked. It's interesting. Not used to built-in rapid. Look at this thing. This art's cool. Oh, can you only be shot with bombs? Okay. Oh god. Oh, okay. I had, I uh, I saw Goofy. You can't meet the characters currently because of uh, social distancing. Uh, but I saw him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they just gotta be careful with them. I don't know. Are you talking about the GameCube Universal Studios game? <laughs> uh, because yes, anything's better than picking up trash forever. Uh, uh, I don't understand how you work. Do you get longer at the middle? Do you just get longer when you feel like it? That was my nose. Do you shoot? <laughs> uh, I need to play that one time. The Universal Studios game. <laughs> But I need to like play it with cheats, because otherwise it'd be non-stop grinding. I would play it like for a while without cheats, just to show you how long it takes to how much trash you have to pick up. Uh you know, I don't have a connect, but I know someone that does, and they're not using it. But my 360 is not here. Um, but I can get it. I've never, I've never been to Disneyland. That's on the other side of the country for me. Uh, we did play the week before I went to Disney. Oh, I got Wonder Momo rings. Oh, <laughs> goodbye Wonder Momo rings. Uh, the week before Disney, I did play Tokyo Disneyland. Uh, Mickey no Tokyo Disneyland that Boken. And I also played... Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. So I did do a little bit of, uh... There, I'm double dap. A little bit of Disney games to get ready. But, n but no connect Disneyland. I have a Walt Disney World... I, I'm not going to call it a game. It's like software from like 95. It's on CD-ROM. So I do want to, once I get the, the computer up and running for streaming, I do want to, the Windows 98 computer, I do want to stream that at some point. Go look at Disney World from the past. Ah, shit, that's the last game on this disc. <laughs> well, there's no museum to to mess about with. Also, none of the, the features like uh, looking at sprites or listening to music. It might be in here somewhere. But I can't read Japanese. Oh, there's Pac-Man's insides again. Oh, 
Oh, we found credits. Good. Oh, these are- this is the- the first game's cutscenes, Volume 1. So I wonder if it's gonna show stills from all the... All the Namco museums. So we're not done yet. This is the last Namco museum on PS1, but we still have two more games to look at. Both of which never came out in America. And I don't think got PAL releases. They are Namco Anthology 1 and 2. Oh, sad Pac-Man. He doesn't like the Tower Draga. <laughs> this is pretty chill music. Remember all those times where we were Pac-Man, running away from things? Running away from horrifying monsters constantly? I guess that's, that's what Pac-Man does for, his, for a living. He runs away from ghosts. Which I think in the original game were called monsters, so... Pac-Man lives a hellish life. And then when he isn't being chased by ghosts, there's some guy, there's some asshole shooting him with a slingshot constantly. Alright, let me go reset the PlayStation. Uh, yeah, they've had, uh... <laughs> they've had, uh, Idol Master costumes in Tekken in the past and in the current game. They did two releases of costumes uh, for Tekken 7, but um, the first release, they, they didn't add a costume for my, my, my character, Anna. Or Nina, sorry. I played Nina. And then, until Anna came out, then I played Anna. <laughs> they, they, didn't put, they didn't put Nina. So I couldn't be a pretty idol. Yeah, sometimes they are planes. Sometimes they're also cars. Alright, so our tour of the Namco Museums are complete. It has come to an end. But there's still two more collections to look at, and these are kind of unique. Namco Anthology 1 and Namco Anthology 2. Oh, what? <laughs> you want to play My Disney Kitchen? Sure, we, we can do that if we uh, finish up the Namco stuff early. <laughs> I don't have to explain anything. I think the title explains it all. <laughs> there's a there's a PC version of that as well. Oh, I get to pull out the, the mouse. I get to pull out my uh, Tokimeki Memorial mouse. <laughs> so I can play Disney Kitchen. <laughs> No, I wish it was like the Winter Kitchen. Namco, produced by Namco. <laughs> Namco, produced by Namco, presents Namco Anthology, copyright Namco. No intro cutscene? Those have been my favorite parts of these. Okay, here we go. Welcome. What is the music doing? Welcome to the Tower of Babel. That was cool. Let me see if it has like cutscenes for everything. Yeah, I have a my PS1 mouse is the Tokimeki Memorial mouse. <laughs>
Ready. Scramble. Forget speedball. Oh my god. <laughs> Samus ball. They made that. It's called Federation Force. Touchdown. And Metro <laughs> Ball. Metro Prime Ball is awesome. I'm just going to let these play because I have no idea if they play anywhere else. Oh, it's a uh, Grapta? Destroy the grab the space station. Oh, is this Starblade? I think Starblade is on one of these collections. I like that I don't know what any of these games are. <laughs> these are my first time uh, looking at these discs. There is one thing I know is on this first disc that is really important. And we might see a preview of it. But I don't know what this is. Is this like a, another Genpei Tobinden? No, this is Chinese. Uh... So, some kind of uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms type story. There are a few games like this. Uh, Capcom had a beat em up called Dynasty Wars. Which then would be followed up by another beat em up. Uh, of course, Koei, probably the most famous for using the, the story of Romance of the Three Kingdoms to make uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms and then later Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, I think Tower of Babel is a Solomon Key type game. It's not Solomon Key because that's Tecmo, I think? I think Solomon's Key is Tecmo. And then there's Fire and Ice, which is the sequel to Solomon's Key. Okay, we, we already saw that one. And then there's, um... There's like a reskinned... Oh! There's a Monster Rancher! <laughs> Tower of uh, Solomon Key on the uh, Game Boy Color. <laughs> I don't know why it's Monster Rancher, it just is. Yeah. It might just only be called Monster Farm. Oh, it's Star Luster. I have the NES version of Star Luster. I've never seen the arcade version. So this is the Namco Anthology. We have Babel, Wrestle Ball, uh, this game and Star Luster. Oh, hold on. Howl. What's up? News and information on the World Wide Web. Oh, my scroll is R1 and L1. Or R1 and R2, actually. Movie theater? 
Click, 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 click. Oh, there's hints here. I wonder if I get them as I play the game. What am I looking at? Oh, I went into the bab babble page itself, I think. Let's go back to news. <laughs> I like that my loading mouse cursor was a Pac-Man dying. Oh, Starluster. Yeah, game star, character, ranking, high score, read me. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Oh, this is, we can watch those videos, I assume. Does it say uh, Vale Tudo? Like the... the uh, Jiu-Jitsu? <laughs> it does make that law. <laughs> okay, that just makes that happen. Alright. <laughs> How do I back out? The next button... It seems to have trapped me in some kind of loop. Okay, that's... We don't have any secrets. We've already seen the movies we have. Alright, let's start at the... Tower of Babel. <laughs> there is no escape from Angel Fire. Oh, it does play the video when you start the game. We didn't have to sit through any of that. Oh, well. That means I can skip it now. Babel. I'm no good at these kind of puzzle games. Also, it helps I can't read the hints. So we got 64 floors, maybe? Start at floor one. I like the sprite of the dude. Oh, this I've seen this one. Yeah, you can actually... Okay. Yeah, I've seen the Famicom version of this. So this, this didn't, was an arcade game originally. But I think... How do I... Can I rotate in my hand? I want to get that thing. How do I... Can make a grid appear. I don't know how to rotate it. Can I not rotate? I mean, I could pick this back up. I'll just do this. Yeah. And I can't get this. Oh, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. It's too late for me. I have no power. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let me die. I sold one of my old collectibles to buy a Saturn copy of Cleopatra Fortune. Nice.
Oh. Trap. Trap? What do I have to do? No. Oh, the select button kills me. <laughs> I'm not good at these kind of games. I apologize. I'm better at Solomon's Key, but that's more of like an action game. Yeah, I think it's because I didn't turn it. Oh! I held forward. I'm a fool. I'm stuck down here. But I need that block, right? I <laughs> have power. It uses a power every time I pick up a, a block. Item in my inventory, but how? So all the shoulders do the grid. Circle picks up and drops. Square picks up and drops. Triangle also does the grid. The X button doesn't seem to do anything. Holding down. I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't find it in the controls. Select does that. Maybe you should check the webpage again. <laughs> There's nothing to show me the controls. This is gonna flip that way. And that's gonna flip that way, so I can't even look at this flaming thing. Contrived. I mean, I figured out how to get, like, up here. Okay, there's no extra controls. How... How do I make a ladder? Because these blocks both face the same way. And I can't... When you stand on one piece and drop the other, can you climb over it? Yeah, I can do that.
You could have climbed over and picked it up. What do you mean, which one? This is really hard to get backseated on to, by the way, because of the, the delay. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I can't get up the tech, uh, the line. I did? There's too many people yelling at me. <laughs> what? Oh, you mean to get it the right direction. You're right. I was still focused on what Lumia said about, um... Uh, rotate, I guess? I guess I was taking that literally. It's alright, I got it. I can't change it like that because it's always gonna. Oh god, <laughs> that button is still kill me. Button. I thought that was the grid button. Oh, but then. Huh. Oh. You don't walk indoors if you're holding a block. <laughs> okay. Do I do I get something for going through all the, the doors? I guess now we know how to get this thing, right? Oh, but I have, to, I have to go all the way down there to change. Ah, I don't care anymore. <laughs> How do I have to leave? Bye. Bye, Tower of Babel. Yeah, so I think the idea of these collections is that these are all... How do I, How do I leave? NES games? Oh, interrupt. I did it. <laughs> I thought Anzu Shake was pretty high up ranking. Ow. I banged my elbow. Uh, yeah, you can save that, I guess. It's probably not enough blocks. You're probably mad at me. No? Alright. What did we learn? Oh, I could look at the controls. Not that that really helped. Alright. So it gives you the cost of the game. <laughs> shake that person. Shake her. Shake them up. Oh, there's a lot of words I can't read. Big password. I didn't get the big password. 
You've heard the password, but now here's big password. <laughs> big challenges. Let's see what Wrestle Ball is. That one had a... Oh, can I play the original game? I didn't really... I think... Oh, is this information? Is this gonna send me back? Oh, the, oh, that sound. That sound emulation. That, how do you... How do you control this? <laughs> oh, I don't like him. Yeah, I don't think this is uh, quite emulated correctly. This is a real PS1, but uh, the N the NES emulator in this Namco anthology is uh, maybe questionable. Hey, this is a completely different floor. Oh. Oh, butts. I thought I could enter the door while falling. <laughs> well, that's the, what the original looked like. <laughs> Inscrutable game for... <laughs> Aliens. So what is Wrestle Ball? This is like the only one I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't know what the the howl is either. I guess we should start. We'll start with the fresh, fresh and new, and then we'll look at uh the old one. Wrestle Ball. So uh, this collection was ninety eight. Interesting. We have the Wrestle Ball League, uh, 1v Com versus a uh, versus Com Battle Royale. Boom, 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 boom. Circle button, of course. Let's do an ex exhibition match. Oh my god, it's so loud. We have the Japan Karate Thrashers, the Namco Stars, the Pac Man. The Nippon Judo Warriors, the Taekwondo Korea Battlers, the Brazil Capoeira Kickers, the Greco Roman Power Wrestlers, Russia and Sambo Strugglers. I'm, I'm sorry, Lumi, I think this is like a speedball clone. US Heavy Boxers. Alright, this is gonna be the Namco. Actually, Namco sucks. They only have one good stat. But they have Pac-Man. Let's beat Japan. Let's go beat up Namco. Fuck you, Pac-Man. Uh, normal? Normal. 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 Normal field. We have wall field and normal field. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I didn't pick them. Scramble. Uh, what am I doing?
This is the worst version of Speedball I've ever played. That was a bad pass, my man. Oh. No, I... Nothing makes sense. Oh, there's a map. Why is this field so big? No, seriously. Okay. Okay, that cycles control. Square seems to attack. That's all shoot. Uh <laughs> the Lampier's combat basketball. No, thank god this is not that. I don't know what I'm doing. Where are my dudes? How do I do that? Oh my god, that ball killed me. I probably shouldn't run with my goalie out there. Ow. Where are dudes? <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. I, I don't feel like I'm in control of any of this. Come on, England, score some fucking goals. I can't do that. I can't do that joke. How do you do that? I don't know how to do that. Where's the wrestling? Oh, I can... Oh, I can hold the button and get different moves, I guess? I hate this. <laughs> I see. I still feel like I'm just controlling, like, a cursor on the screen. And not, like, a person. That makes sense. What? I bet the other... Depending on what character you are. Because I noticed there's different body types and they seem to do different things. Like, one does a spinning lariat. So you did like an overhead. Oh, no, get out of my way. Coming in. Coming in hot. 
No! <laughs> Maybe it does play better with the Tokamaki Memorial Mouse. Alright, big boy. Big boy coming in. Oh shit, we scored. An actual thing happened. <laughs> This makes my hand hurt. <laughs> oh. We did it, we have one score on the quarter. We're the best. I got ran over. I think the big boys can just like run you over if you're a small boy. Oh, hey, why'd you just hand that to him? Jump. No, you can't jump. I feel like I jumped once. But that was like maybe an attack. Because I did like a big stomp. Penalty trio attempt. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Is that your is that your corner kick? This game's a mess. I kind of hate it. Even after I figured out some things. So as an American, I I do know what speedball is. That guy's dead. Apparently, you just kill people. Oh my god, the AI is just on top of you. This might be fun with, like, a person, but the AI is just, like, wiggling on top of your body. Oh my god, there's no one to pass to. And, like, I feel like no one is around. Oh, that's my dude. Why'd you get in the way? <laughs> what? I a shot. It didn't shoot. I let go and everything. He just held it the whole time. Sucks. There's nothing good about, like, these, like, scrambles. How close can I get to the- oh.
I wonder how close I can get to the goal. Oh, okay, that's the, the strat is to kill the goalie. A lot of these games, they don't let you kill the goalie. They're like invincible monsters. I had the goalie out. Oh, now he's back. Get him. Come on, why are you not in position? Dudes, it is really hard to move downfield because your dudes are never in a good spot. Like, why was he coming at me? I have My own dude was coming to tackle me. There's no opposition. But anytime I touch the ball, it's like... They're just on me. Like glue. Got the shot off. We did it. We learned how to how to win. That's it. There's no celebration. <laughs> There's nothing. It's just next game. That actually kind of hurt my uh my thumb on the PlayStation One D-pad. I did jam my right thumb a little bit at Disney. Uh, I had to push a wheelchair. And I guess I jammed it in something. I don't know. Uh, real quick, let's look at the mess that is original. Wrestle ball. <laughs> you guys, is anyone familiar with this game? I've never seen it. It also has the Namco logo and not a Namcot logo. That's interesting. Or maybe these are altered Rons. Look at this intro cutscene. I guess it's not NES. Or is it? I don't know. The color depth is tricking me. Is this PC Engine? No. But it sounds like NES. I, I don't know. I can't place this game. No, that's too many colors for... It's a Mega Drive game? Okay. It's like, it didn't look like a Mega Drive game, but it didn't look like an NES game either. It was like... I don't know what to make of it. Alright, let's play Namco. Oh, my password is high. 
Okay, so there are different people. You got a goalkeeper, a sweeper, left blocker, and right blocker. Those are the big boys. You got left half, right half, left ninja. Right ninja, left wing, right wing, and a general. Our general's Pac-Man. Oh, I had bonus points. I didn't realize that. That was not a mechanic I had in the other game. Oh. Oh, this kind of plays worse. Like, it's way harder to, like, change person. Also, I'm pink. I forgot. Also, the, um, so the PS1 has, like, a software-level dithering. And that actually can go over, like, 2D games. There's a way to, like, disable it. Oh, no, my goalie's dead. That's probably bad. Oh, you can walk it in. You get three points for that. Okay. So you can kill the goalie and then walk it in. I hate this still. And what I was saying is the PS1 has a, a, a hardware level dither option that you can enable. And it looks like that's on. Because I can't imagine this floor being dithered. For what reason would it be? Like, everything's dithered right now. <laughs> well, that's... That's this game. Uh, Namco, Namco tried to get in on the speedball. Exit. I had it once before. There it goes. <laughs> the speedball craze that was taking over the nation. I guess before speedball, there was the Atari game with robots playing football. But that was just like actual football. This seems like something that was like, hey, you seen speedball? Check out our speedball. <laughs> but 91, I wonder what the timetable is like. I don't know when Speedball came out, as I am not British. <laughs> it's my excuse. Starluster, this is an NES game. I know for sure. Though I think it might have got a... Uh... No, I don't think it got a Genesis port. You see carts of this everywhere. Like, if you ever looked at Famicom lots. I think it is a first-person space shooter. Lots of options here. I sound off. Well, it defaulted to sound off. Let's leave it off, because maybe... Maybe it's... Maybe Namco went full Amiga. Yeah, so you've got, like... That's your map on the bottom. And you kind of like point at what you want to go do. Uh, Star Luster is totally like Namco saw like, um, God, what's that game on the Atari? How do I read this? Red is up on the radar. Yeah, dodge that. Hit something. They have like missiles. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, this thing just has health. I see. Cause I was like, I'm pretty sure I like, I had to hit him, right? <laughs> and yeah, this, this is the game. I'm just kind of do this. I don't. What was I doing? How do I... Oh, circle! Okay, I'm like... I was shooting rings of some sort. Maybe those are fast travel points? I don't know. Anyway, there's a bunch of games like this on Atari and the television. And then like, I guess you could look at Elite as well. As something like this. Too high. Do I shoot this? Okay. Oh, I gotta go here. Because this star is under attack. Or not? I have to go to the enemies that are near it. This game is putting me to sleep. Uh, ASCII also had a game like this on NES. I like the sprites, like the... You don't really see sprite scaling on PS1 because you don't really see sprite-based games on PS1. Star exploded. That's, that's probably bad, right? <laughs> Alright, enough of that. I wish I could think of what the Atari game is called. It's one of those games that uses the keypad and starts with the word star. No, I don't want to save. Let's go look at the original. We have Speedball at home, honey. Speedball at home. Command, adventure, training. Let's try command. See, now this, this looks like a video game. Boop, boop, boop. How do you... Alright, it's still circle. X and circle are the only buttons. Enemy... Oh boy. I can't read this radar. I'll hit something. Anything. 
Oh, they hit my shield. I might have this cart actually. I have so many Namco carts that I don't have. I, I don't. I might actually have this cart. I was going through my my Famicom collection. And I realized I had a game that I've been meaning to play for a long time, but it's really hard. It's like a face. It's not a face. What am I saying? It's like a fake space harrier. It's like a Cosmic Epsilon. And it's a really cool looking game. And uh, I didn't realize I just have it in my collection. I don't remember when that happened. It might have showed up from like a... A lot that I bought back in the day. Back when you could buy game lots. Oh, my radar is broken. When that happened. I have to go back to a base. This seems fine for an NES game. Defend Star. I don't know how. I need to read instructions. This is very much a read instructions video game. <laughs> and the instructions are in Japanese. Cool, cool idea though. Bill Lambier would be impressed. Alright, the last game on this collection very read instruction video game. Here's Howl. I don't know how what this is. This is also probably an inscrutable game for for space aliens, uninscrutable. I can't speak today, I apologize. Please give me a break. I just, this is my first stream in like two weeks. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh. <laughs> you know. You, you look cool. I'm gonna be you. <laughs> I had a feeling, but I was like, okay, maybe it's Namco games, so maybe it'll be kind of like. No, no, it's it's one of these. I'm the green guys. Uh, well, that's that game. No, I don't want to save. <laughs> Let's just really quick look at the original. To see what system it was on. Um, what is this telling me? It's a new one for me. Okay, NES. Yeah, it's one of these. I'll be this guy again. There's so many of these. Oh, this one has little pictures. That's cute. Oh boy. Well, that's the first anthology. The only... I, I think if you like puzzle games, Babel is pretty cool. And uh, I think Starluster is neat. 
get the other two. Let's get this disc. If you were to buy a whole Namco uh, PS1 collection, like I almost did. There was someone selling the whole Namco Museum box set with both anthologies as well. And I was like so close to uh, to snatching it up, except I realized I don't have any money. But it would have been cool. But like, why would I even do it that? I would just play like ports of games that. I guess these anthology ones are brand new ports, brand new remakes that are only on these discs, as far as I know. Uh, but for the rest of the museum, like, I'm better off just playing MAME or Arcade Archives or even the other Namco museums. But it is kind of fun to do the museum exploration. Maybe not, like, $200 of fun. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what they're selling of that. <laughs> you got four games. Don't worry, because the next one is going to be completely worth it, actually. It's upsetting. I, like, I, I don't even know what else is on this disc, but there's one thing on this disc that makes it worthwhile. To me. Maybe not to you. Namco, produced by Namco. Namco, Anthology 2. I forgot I lowered the volume after that one game was super loud. This cool stuff. I don't know what this is, but it's got a lizard man. <laughs> back to back to this music. I wonder if there's a full version of that song. Because I would use it as like a, a Be Right Back music. There she is. This is what this disc was built for. This is a remake of the NES Valkyrie game. And uh, instead of that, instead of it being like, um, I guess we'll, we'll be able to look at the original, huh? So I own the original Famicom Valkyrie game, and I'm excited to look at this one. And it is part of Valkyrie Fest whenever I look at the whole series as a whole. I will be using this disc to play. Oh yeah, and this 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 has pack attack. Pack attack must be on like every console of a certain generation. Like it's on the CDI, it's on the Jaguar, I think. It's on the 3DO, it's on the Super Nintendo, it's on the Mega Drive. <laughs> There's an NES version as well. Does anyone like pack attack? I, it, it's okay. 
I liked it better when it was um with the aliens. Yeah, Pack Attack is like a reskinned uh version of Oh my god, what is it? Uh the Cosmo the little a little purple aliens that Namco made a, a physical arcade cabinet of that I used to not shut up about. And they made a puzzle game, and then that didn't sell, so they just stuck Pac-Man on. Alright, there's a golf game in here. This might be a uh, family golf. Part of the family line of games that uh, came out on Famicom. I own a couple of the family games. I own Family Pinball, which I, I like a lot. We need to like look at uh, my Namco collection at one point. You know Karnov, uh, the NES port, the Famicom port of Karnov was a Namcot ported game? <laughs> Like a Namcot published. So it has a, a, a Namco cartridge to match all the other Namco cartridges, but it's, it's just Karnov. And I own I own Karnov twice on Famicom. I don't know how. Okay, I think it's mad that there's uh, no space anymore. Let's get Pack Attack out of the way. Oh, King of Kings. That was that first game we looked at. I've heard of that game. Oh, there's an edit mode, so you can make your own puzzles, I guess. Anyway, Pack, Pack Attack's a falling, falling block puzzler. You've got ghosts, and you've got, like, regular bricks. And you can get rid of the regular bricks uh, by, like, Tetris rules. Uh, no, don't don't save. Eat them up, eat them up! It's pack attack. Road to God Hand? <laughs> okay, Pac-Man. Chill the fuck out. Let's go just play our game game. And then you have ghosts, and the only way you can get rid of ghosts is by... Oh my... It's already really fast. is by using Pac-Man to eat them. Ah, that's probably bad. I made too many wells. Oh. I goofed. I goofed again. I'm bad at this. I thought Novus wasn't gonna be this fast. Anyway, if you fill up the meter, you get a fairy. The fairy's very good. Oh, god. Yeah, the gravity on this is crazy. Yeah, I can't- I get stuck so fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is it so fast? No, I don't want to do that. But it's like, yeah, there's like no infinite T-spin or anything. So like you're locked in place really fast. Why is it so fast? Because I didn't pick the god hand mode. 
I didn't become a god hand. Well, that's back attack. I don't like back attack. There's nothing wrong with it. It's on every console. Maybe not on the Saturn, because Namco refused to release anything on a Saturn. Saturn's like the first system that doesn't get a back attack. I guess there's an old version. What is that going to be? Because back attack was an arcade game. So I wonder if this is just the arcade game. But it was also on CDI? A lot of people rarely like that CDI version. <laughs> this looks like Genesis. No, but... It, okay, this is Super Nintendo, because of the sampled sound. Okay, I picked normal. Yeah, this is what I was expecting when I picked normal mode. <laughs> Not the chaos I was seeing at the beginning of the other mode. handle this speed for a while. Hey, real talk, this song's way better than whatever was playing the in the remake version. Like shitty sampled Super Nintendo twangy guitar and everything. attack. You all know what that is. I, I hope you do. There's gonna be a test. We didn't go on this field trip to all the Namco museums for nothing. Alright, let's check out the golf game. I think it said Namco Classic. So maybe that's the golf game. Maybe it's not family golf. Nineteen eighty eight to nineteen ninety two to nineteen ninety eight. Are all the copyrights? Uh, I can't read any of this. Yeah. All right, who do we want? We have Maiko, Noboru, Nobodu. Kenji, Masao, Marie, Yuri, and Maiko. I'm gonna go Yuri. I like her. She's got spunk. Uh, no handicap. She's good. Oh, we have to pick her fucking bag? No, yeah, put everything in. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, am I picking a caddy? Uh, pink haired girl. I was not expecting them to be voiced. Jam. It's a pan flute. 
Okay, so we can look at elevation and we can look at the course and I just noticed the wind changed. So the wind is changing direction like in real time. Uh, I'm assuming if I hit here, I'll still get into the fairway. Oh, but if I hit here, yeah, the wind is enough. Oops. I was really off the mark on that. Oh my god, what is this golf game? <laughs> what is this angle? She's happy. This is a strange game. Oh, we're just... Alright. Alright, so... 59 yards. Um, can, I, can I give it a backspin? How do I... I can slice like that, but I can't. Okay, so we got five meters of wind. That was too low. Jesus. I can't read this power meter then. I thought it was over halfway. 27 yards out and I have an 87 yard. I see that's too much. Okay. I hate golf games where you can't read the power meters very well. <laughs> Drive me crazy. Like a Neo Turf Master? Perfect. Wonderful game. You just do math. Let's go look at the original. Become the god hand of golf. Oh, there's a there's a Genesis golf game called Battle Golfer UE that we should look at at one point. <laughs> it's a very, very good game. I have no idea what I just did. I guess this is me. Uh, no handicap. Give me all the balls. Oh, it's like asking me questions like a questionnaire and that's determining my character of some sort. Alright, no name. Uh... You. Also, I've never seen a golf game do, uh... Like, side... Like, this angle? I can barely tell... How do I look at the thing? Where's wind? Oh, wind's down there. Okay. Oh, you got a, a copy of Battle Golf for you? That's cool. Ugh. Sorry, the timing on this is different than the other one. Wow, the wind did nothing. I hate this. Oh, you know, uh, I like NES Open. 
Oh, she gave me a wiki face for getting on the fair. I'm just hitting it. Because I can't even tell what I'm doing right now. Damn it. Telling you how far the sand wedge goes. On the green. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a translation patch for Battle Golfer Yui. So I do I do and if I do play it, I'll play it on the EverDrive. If the translation. Oh, is this a new option? What is this option? Oh, this is the theater. It just has a new, uh... Icon. Oh, you can listen to music now. Alright, King of Kings. I've heard of this game. But, uh, I don't know what it is. We need more, like... Golf RPGs. I think we can all agree in that, right? The King of Kings. Uh, sure, scenario mode. Uh, I mean, those PGA games are all right. They're just not like, they're not like Japanese golf games with the music and the presentation. <laughs> You could have, like, grew up playing, like, uh, T&E Soft golf games where they had to redraw the course every time in 3D on a Super Nintendo. It would be slow as shit. And I know people that like those Tiger Woods games. Espada. Man, these games are dithered to hell. All right. Is this a turn-based or real-time? All right, this is the enemy. Corazon. Oh, I can't read this. Did I end turn? I don't want to end turn. Am I making units? Okay, I'm making units. Uh, let's have a sword fighty man. Alright, why don't you go to this place? That's probably good, right? <laughs> That place is our place now. God, this this must be the slowest one of these I've ever seen. Cause like you have to make units one at a time, and then each one has a little cutscene. <laughs> Can I keep making them in the same turn? Alright. Let's have a pole man. I guess you could skip it, but still. Oh, I can't quite make it. An archer? And the archer can just hang back for a bit. Oh wait, that means it's like all the way across the map, so I don't have to worry about them, right? For a bit. Oh, can I spawn enemy the units from here? Are you better in the trees? Is there anything like that? It's probably okay if we just move you. Can I do anything in this town? No. Goblin! 
Harpy. Elf. Alright, we're gonna make a harpy. <laughs> All right, we made a harpy. <laughs> and harpies got crazy movement, but they probably can't take over a place, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Let's make one more. Let's make an axe guy. He probably... He's probably the strongest of these units. Get him up there. One more sword guy. Swords are probably balanced. Oh, but they all, all those have the same move. Interesting. Oh, I can move. Oh, so I could probably move to different places. Dang. No, I'm done. How do I end turn? <laughs> All right, Corazon. Oh god, do I have to watch this in full real time? Speed up? Alright, well those all those towns are their towns, so I don't have to worry about that. Goblin! I cannot say goblin correctly anymore. Uh, Italian Spider-Man has ruined goblins for me. Oh, they got lots of goblins. They spent all their budget on goblins. Okay, elves are also ranged. Okay, they're spending all their money. Okay, you get some money back, maybe depending on how many places you have. Here, hang out over here, Harpy. I, I just want to see combat, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna move my dude into... Well, no, he didn't move his. Maybe I should get some goblins. Collection's kind of interesting because you get like a, a full ass strategy game. So I'll seem to have a lot of movement. Yeah, cover the harpy. Do two goblins. Mm. And one more elf to cover those goblins. I just want something to happen, <laughs> and then I'll switch games. <laughs> yeah, Corazon spent all their money, but they have more bases to get more money back. Unfair. And they're gonna get more bases. Mm. 
Now I have to watch AI place dudes around. I guess he is closer than I thought. Oh, they're still so far away, though. Goblin. Yeah, it seems like monsters can move more than... Oh, no, he has a harpy. Yeah, we got decent money. Dang. Take that place, please. Oh. Guess we should keep some dudes around. Oh, I just realized they have, like, a, a number. I wonder if they're, like, gone after that number is done. And that's why you have to constantly be pumping out troops. Weapon types have like, uh, like if it's like a fire emblem, there's like some kind of weapon triangle. Oh my god, they have so much money, <laughs> and I can't stop them. They started with four bases. And they're just getting more. Oh, goblins have low whatever that number is. Oh wow, the harpy can actually get here. The harpy is probably not... Affected by, like, tiles? Like, uh, mountains or terrain. Terrain's the word. Probably, I don't know. I'm making a lot of assumptions about this game I can't read the instructions to. Look at it, he has so many people. You think there'd be a limit? Okay, something can happen now. So we, we could fight this harpy. It's an even matchup. Okay, so they, they represent armies. It's like, uh... Oh my god. It's like an advanced wars or um, ogre battle, I guess.
That means I have the advantage, right? My meter was bigger? I think Harpies would have the advantage in this kind of battle. Especially with the terrain. I only took out... Oh, I took two units out. I didn't lose any units. So that was a good decision. You take this. Uh, Sacrificial Goblin. I do like the combat, like the, the way it's presented. It's it's still a really slow game. Slow one of these. Oh wow, we murdered them on this train. Come on, finish the job. Ah. Oh, my goblin's leveled up. Wait, you can't attack? <sighs> Elves. I thought you'd attack from a distance. Oh, pole arms can attack like this. Okay. This is probably bad. It looked like I had bad uh, chance, but I should at least take out one of them. Or was my meter full? Oh, my, my meter was full. We have the number advantage. Still can't kill one. God, this is the worst. Who made this game? I'm done. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Well, if you want a turn-based strategy game... As well as... What else was on this disc? A golf game, and um, I already forgot. Pack attack. <laughs> You've got a puzzle game, a golf game, King of Kings. I'm not even gonna look at the original one, and uh, this one. So the Valkyrie series, there's really like two main games. There's the NES game, the Famicom game, and then there's the one everyone knows, the arcade game. Legend of Valkyrie. Uh, this is... Not that. But, this is a remake of the NES game that is designed to kind of be like the arcade game. And I kind of wish it would have, like, a translation. Like, someone should fan translate it. Yeah, this is like, what is it, Valkyrie and like the mystery of the of time or something? Evil guy broke the time, monsters came out, attacked the villagers. But the Valkyrie's here. Now, we'll play the NES game to show how different this one is. But yeah, they really just made that arcade game again. Hey. Also, it has save spots. Uh, let's not save right now because... Oh God, that's It's memory card too. That's not what I wanted. I just want to get out. So yeah, if you're a Valkyrie fan, you might not know this exists. You didn't have a shield button. Oh, it's on the shoulder as well. Oh, there's ducking. Crawling. Oh. Yeah, it's a neat little thing. Oh no, this village has been destroyed. 
I think this game is a lot more straightforward than even the arcade. Uh, Valkyrie, Legend of Valkyrie. Like, I think it has this... The stores and the magic, but like... It doesn't have all like the side stuff to do. Which is weird to think about because that's an arcade game, but it had little side quests that you could do. And ideally you should do, because that's how you get the best weapons. <laughs> Yeah, it's got these flying mandrills. They're from the first game, or second game. Since it's an arcade game, there's no timer. So I guess you could just grind out gold as much as you want. Ah, there's the salesman. Probably shouldn't have bought that. I only was missing like one heart. It really is. This is like a fully featured game. Well, I mean that that strategy game seemed fully featured. Look at these crocodiles. I love them. So yeah, we will be looking at this game in, in full in the future at some point when I do all the Valkyrie. Oh. I wasn't expecting this to move on its own. Hey. Looks like there's a lot of split paths and things to look at. This dock is covered in alligators. in the water too long, Crocodile comes out. Now, the, the first game in the series is a little inscrutable to me. So, yes and no. So this is only on the Anthology 2 this version of the game. However, there is a version of the game that exists on 3DS, but it features a different player character. It was a pre-order bonus for Project Cross Zone, and it features, um... Oh, look at these uh, Kiwis. I have to murder them, I'm sorry. Um, it features the, the Ninetales girl, the Katsune girl from uh, Namco X Capcom, Project Cross Zone, in the place of the Valkyrie. And like I said, it was only a pre-order gift. So I think it's digital only. But it exists. It's a thing you could go find and download. And I will be downloading it to show. Not sure if I want to try it on Citra or... Um, I do have... I do have a Mac... Uh, I do have a hacked 3DS, so I could do a little bit of the streaming the screen to a computer, but I don't know how good it is. And 3DS capture cards are just... that ain't happening. Oh, there are villages in this game. This might be hard without a translation, then. I don't think there is one. It's a shame. The uh, PC Engine port of the original game has a translation. And then the original arcade game of the second game. Oh, and the NES game also have fan translations. I want someone to give me magic.
I got a boomerang. Oh yeah, I have an inventory. It's very different. Oh, the boomerang gives me wide. Interesting. That was just like something you could buy in the store. Ow. I don't know if this is any good. Also seems to have ammo. Like this weapon is just pump out. <laughs> There's little story events. Oh, this game is cute. Yeah, get them, kid. Don't worry, Valkyrie's here. Oh no, Valkyrie. Oh no. Do we got more max uh, HP? Yeah, we do. Aw, oh, that's cool. This game is cool. Inventory. Oh, that item we didn't use, we just kept it. This is more involved than I expected for being just like part of this anthology. Because, I mean, this has four other, three other games that they. Okay, let's be honest, Pack Attack they didn't do shit with. They just like. They tightened up the graphics. And everything else looked like. You know, majorly rehauled. <laughs> Mechanically and. Graphically. Okay, I don't want this to turn into me playing this game right now. It'll get its own time in the sun. But yeah, we hit another save point. I'm curious if it has boss fights. The, uh, the arcade game has boss fights. I don't remember if the NES game does. Oh, they touched me. I hate how the music has to fade out and fade back in, but sometimes CD-ROM games are like that. Oh my god. Bird out of nowhere. <laughs> oh no. Well, it's on Anthology 2, which, like I said, only has a Japanese release. It might... I don't know if it has a PAL release. I don't think it does, but... I never looked this up beforehand. I only, like, know it has no American release. <laughs> Here's some money. I'll take that. Could get a better shield from the shop. Actually, no, that shop disappeared. He was just there for one time. Did I get health back somehow? Like half a heart? So I thought I was down a full heart. Or two full hearts. Oh my god, this bird! Okay, they only- they die in one shot, you just have to jump shot them. Oh my god, this creature looks cute. 
Is he gonna give you magic? This is the music for the old ladies that'll give you magic. Oh, is he my magic? Oh, he's Cyclone! Okay. That was the second magic to give you in the uh, arcade game. Oh, there's a wrong button! It's circle, which is not the greatest, but... <laughs> she runs into things. This is great. I've seen footage of this game. I've never played it. This is, this is cute. No, I'm not saving. We'll come back to this. I might watch a long play before I play it because I don't want to miss like any side quests. And I can't read the hints or anything, so... Oh, maybe we help the town and the town is helping us break this gate down. That wouldn't happen if I hadn't saved that lady. Maybe. I'm making a lot of assumptions about everything. Hooray! <laughs> Just ransacked this. I just want to know... Oh my. Just gonna watch Valkyrie? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this game is like... Valkyrie in the Key of Time or something. The secret of the Key of Time or something? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, they have bombs now. It's got cute sprites. It plays well. Honestly, the, the strategy game also seemed interesting. Except for maybe the fact that, like, you get so much... You can build so many units in that game. <laughs> Same with the AI, and just like... Yeah, give it a shot. You can read it, so you can enjoy it. Ah... Uh, I should probably use magic. I'd probably use my, my health. Oh, that's magic. Red is magic. Clear is health. Yeah, I gotta build that figurine, and then <laughs> play the NES game first, which I think has a translation. Yeah. This is cute. Oh, I probably want to get in this building, because it seems big and important. Or it's just there to look pretty... I don't know. <laughs> it just ran into a caveman. Good evening, Plumbo. We've been looking at the Namco Anthology games, which are... I'm gonna call them Namco Museum Adjacent. Yeah, I've been gone. Been off in Disney. I've sent, uh, put some pictures in the Discord. I hope everyone enjoyed some of the things I took pictures and video of. I didn't want to go too crazy. I'm not big into taking pictures. Ow, can't block that. <laughs> Whoa, that guy hit me from behind. Oh, hey, a boss fight.
Okay, this, this thing's got some hitboxes. <laughs> so one thing is when you're running, you can't change direction, like, very well. You can turn, but you can't, like... change direction immediately. If that makes sense. I did that. I took care of your giant evil plant thing. I wonder if there's a translated script for this. Oh, I lost my headband. But I'm like a new sprite now. Oh, sorry to hear that, Blombo. I hope you I hope you're doing better. Now that you're home and can relax. Watch some Valkyrie. Though this is the last game on the last anthology, so I gotta come up with something else to do for a bit. <laughs> Cause I'm not playing this whole game. I want to do my research, I want to see if I can find a script or a walkthrough, a long play, because there's probably side quests I'm missing. And I want to show off the whole game. Oh, so that was like its own little self-contained world. Because uh, the NES game is like... I'm not going to say open world, but it's like Zelda, you can just go everywhere on the map, basically. Oh, okay. So, it is this, it is level-based, unlike the NES game. Yeah, this is a remake of an NES game on the PS1. A lot of the anthology games are remakes of NES or maybe Mega Drive, SNES games. And they all have uh, very different degrees of success and interests. Like one game was just a really bad speedball clone that I... I won. I won the match. I just didn't feel like I had any fun doing it. I wish I could get more weapons. At this point in like uh, the arcade game, I'd be like... Super powerful. Okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> if I keep playing that. Again, I want it to have its own time. But while we're here, we can look at the original game. Because uh, not only does this collection have the remakes, but it also has uh, questionably emulated NES versions. There she is. There's the Valkyrie. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, you're picking uh, your your zodiac sign. So like I'm Libra actually. So that that that's that's not Libra. That's Libra. And then your blood type. I actually don't remember my blood type. And then we're picking our color. I mean the Valkyrie wears white and green. And this is the game. So yeah, we, we will look at this game before we look at the rest of the Valkyrie series, just to see how it starts, but uh, it's it's very hard. It's very easy to die early on. I don't know if you get, like... Health ups. I mean, I guess you do. This is our password, by the way.
Oh, I think it might be as a healing spell. Oh, did I level up? I think I did. Isn't it crazy that uh, the game we were playing is a remake of this? Yeah, so you can use the shield to kind of block them, their movement, and then hit them. It doesn't have bump combat, but it does have a day-night cycle. Which is weird. I know, right? And the idea is there. The Valkyrie's here, and... Dudes show up and you kill them and you get gold. And there's like holes and like you said, it's like a big overworld thing. Like, look, it's the, the plant thing. It's just hanging out here. I don't know. But now we have context for that, I guess. I don't know. Oh, my shield's not good enough. Yeah, I, I, it's it's the same story and like the same beats. And I get the feeling this is a game that we will be dying a lot in and just restarting, or well, continuing to keep our our assets. Oh, there's a well there. I guess I did lose gold, so I don't know. Oh my jeez. Like I said, you can die really fast. Anyway, I look forward to looking at that game, because I, I like games like that. <laughs> and broken. I wish I had bump combat. That would make that game way better. So, that's the Namco Anthologies. Oh, we learned something. I can't read it, but we, we unlocked uh, one hint. Please select menu. Let's mine seek. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, yes. Oh, is this a questionnaire? It's a personality question quiz or something? No. Yes. Alright, that's my answer for mind seeking. How'd I do, everyone? <laughs> There's this, uh, I think it's a. It's a Sega arcade game that you answer questions, and some of the questions are about, like, the Virtua Fighter cast skiing and stuff, and the pictures are really great, and I really like it. Uh, it's not translated, so you have no idea what you're answering, but. I don't know, mind seek. Nothing but knows. Maybe it's like, which Namco game is right for you? Let's save and load, let's config. Oh, jeez, I have no idea what any of this is. I like that the credits are also a web page. <laughs> Can I scroll faster? I notice there's this now. Okay. It's 
excuse me. I have no idea what any of this is. <laughs> But people had fun making these. That's what I, that's the takeaway I can have from the, the Namco museums. Well guys, that's been every Namco museum and anthology for the PS1. I hope you all enjoyed that. The stream's not over yet, uh, but this is the end of the VOD. Because I promised Lumia we'd look at something if Lumia's still here. It was pretty late, so I wasn't sure. But she said something not too long ago.